What's going on, everybody? Dog Man Dan here. More frame update 22.5.0. The Volt Proto Skin Collection is now available. Let's take a look at that and then we'll quickly discuss a couple of the uh, QLL changes for Volt. And please, if you are a Volt player, Leave your comments below about what you think about the changes are. Because I haven't really run Volt in a pretty long time. So, for me, I'm not really sure about all the changes. But we'll discuss them anyway here. So, first off, the Proto Skin Collection. And the Proto Skin Armor is out. Pretty funky looking. Charged up Volt Collection. So, you get the Proto Skin. You get the Diode Hammer Skin. Uh, and the Cathode Sindana. I mean, it looks a little Iron Man-ish, if you will, to me. So it's definitely a change from uh, what we're used to seeing with Volt. It's pretty funky looking. I like the energy colors, the way they flow over the body there. Obviously, you can change that stuff around. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I, I dig it. Uh, better than some of the other skins that we've seen recently. It's interesting. Like I said, it's a little that it's a little Iron Manish, if you will, to me. Uh, we can just look at the proto skin there. Another look at it. So you know, there's a couple ways to pick it up in terms of how you want to buy just the skin or you want to buy the collection. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty funky looking. I like it, but eh, it's going to be subjective, of course. Very subjective. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and, and take a look at coloring it and designing it and doing everything with it. And we'll talk about these changes here for, uh, for Volt. So, while I do some fashion frame in the background here. Let's talk about some of these changes. So, of course, you know, not just cosmetic, long requested QOL tweaks to his abilities. All right, so here's where we're at. They're, they're going to be monitoring closely some of these changes, more or less, for exploitive power behavior, if you will. Um, added a minimum duration for enemies affected by discharge under the uh, coil CC effect. So this could allow for possible modding diversity, um, knowing minimum duration for the coil CC effect won't fall below four seconds. Uh, they removed the passive five energy per second drain from Volt's electric shield when moving with it. The one energy per meter drain still remains. Okay. The uh, increased the base DPS of Discharge from a 450 at max rank to now 750. So they they almost doubled it. I'd say about 75% increase on that. So that's definitely a big change. Uh, and Discharge is now castable in the air. That's always something that I actually had been wanting for a pretty long time as well. So that's going to make some change differences, of course. Okay, uh, Some more changes here going on you know just in general you got uh, drop sentient cores now having uh, a mini map icon in the uh, world marker and display their position some improvements towards the chesa kubro retrieve functionality when retrieving items nearby crates over in the plains uh, clarified verbiage when buying a warframe from the market players were confused by thinking they got a reactor, when really it's an installed reactor. Uh, they reduced the camera rotation of the Beza's recoil from the hip, and reduced the delay before auto-reloading an empty magazine while using the Beza, or the Baza, however you want to put it. Okay, but getting back to these volt changes, um, personally, I think... Definitely the DPS increase on Discharge and the castability in the air is a huge improvement. Uh, swapping up this passive 5 energy per second drain on the electric shield, I like that. 
and still keeping the one energy per meter drain uh, on there. I'm betting at some point they're going to change that, though. I'm betting it's going to probably go up to like a two energy per second or some kind of a, a slight change to that. Uh, otherwise, you know, you get the added minimum duration for uh, discharge under the CC effect. So that's something that we can actually work with. Uh, and like I said, if you've played Volt and you like these changes or you think these changes suck, whatever, you know, feel free to leave the comments below. I am curious. For me personally reading it um, off of, of what they've got going on, I do like the concept of these changes. Uh, and where they stand, but I just feel like something's going to end up changing uh, when they're talking about explosive, exploitive power behavior. Um, and I'm really hoping that the DPS change is not what they're talking about. I mean, you know, 450 at max rank to a 750 is a big 75% roughly difference, uh, but I'd like to see that stay there. I'd almost like to see that be a little bit bigger personally. But uh, I think it's a good change at least. So please do feel free to leave comments below. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you guys soon.